Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome to Last Ask Shogo. Hello, everyone. 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 In this channel, we'll be introducing hidden gems in Kyoto. So, if you're a Kyoto lover planning to come to Kyoto someday, be sure to subscribe to enjoy more content. Let's go inside. The culture of eating eels, or unagi in Japanese, is believed to have existed from about 4,000 years ago in Japan. During the Edo period, when food culture bloomed, it actually became one of the four kings of food, along with sushi, tempura, and soba. Japanese people consume about 70% of the eels distributed in the world, so you can understand how much we love eating them. All right, let's go inside then. I really love the island they have here with a very big pond. It's really nice. Yeah, it's really cool. Thank you. Wow. The most common way to cook eels in Japan is called kabayaki. The eels are split open, grilled, and coated with a sweet and spicy sauce made from a mixture of soy sauce, mirin, and sugar that goes well with eels. And if you're interested in eating this, you now know the right place to go because Egiya Nyorosuke provides stunning quality eels in an unbelievably low price, right at the heart of Kyoto. Pontocho City. Okay, so then let's start taking a look at their menu. This is the drink menu, first of all.、Mm. We have some whiskey here. Oh, the Japanese whiskey, Yamazaki, Hakushu, Taketsuru. And I believe these are wine. Yeah, it looks like wine. Yep, highballs and some sours and soft drinks. And also in the back, they have beer on the side here. Japanese sake, five kinds. And also shochu. Shochu, yeah. And these are fruit liquors here, some plum wine also,、mm. and yuzu, yuzu also wine, as well. Sudachi. Sudachi looks all great. And also, this is their grand menu, I believe.、Yeah. Yes, this is so really, really cool. I think this is made from washi, Japanese paper, is, I believe. Yeah. yeah. Very traditional. Whoa, it's very big. Oh, there's a really big eel written on it.、Nice. Wow. It's really, really traditional. I feel like this is handwritten, isn't it? Maybe, yeah, I, don't I think, think it's so. Printed. I think it's impossible to print it, yeah.、Mm. Really, really good handwriting. So, there is a lot of things you can choose from, but I will be enjoying this best one、mm. out of the Unashu Gokujo Nibi. Nice. I get to enjoy two different kinds of eels in this、mm. one. And also, Kazu, you're gonna be trying out the, not the Unashu, but this one, the Hitsumabushi. Hitsumabushi, yes. It's just a different way to enjoy the eels, yes.、Mm. And this jo, this one over here. And it's also written here that preparing the eel is gonna take about 25 minutes here. Yeah. yeah so, so, yeah, as you wait, it'll be great if you can order some of the, I believe it's the kind of like the appetizers. appetizers yeah, yeah, exactly. But there are so many things you can order from. So, maybe you can ask for recommendations from、mm. the staff members、yeah. here. So, now we're gonna ask for recommendations. なんかおすすめ教えていただけますか？はい、あのよく出ているのがブザクとうまきはよく出ています。はい。このブザクって、はい、えっ、ー、とうなぎをかば焼きで焼いて、うん、あのちょっと酢の物でキュウリと相手さっぱり食べてる。ああ。小鉢的なあ、そうなんですね。ああ、美味しそう。なるほど。それいただく？ぜひぜひじゃあ。うん。気になるね。気になるね。刺身ってことですね。Okay, so we ordered two of the appetizers. Well, it's going to be really, really luxurious, though, as an appetizer. Yeah, we're going to have a really good time. All right, so then we'll wait for the orders to come. Hey! Cheers. 
really, really good. Mm. Mm, it's like so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, sashimi, no, never. No, I have never tried it out myself. So we have the soy sauce and the vinegar miso. Yep. And also, she told us to eat it together with the myoga. Myoga mm. too? Yep. yep. So I want to try both the soy sauce and the. Oh, uh, looks so good. Butter. Yeah, exactly. There we go. The, um, so she said the traditional way is to eat with the vinegar miso, right? Yeah. So I'll try the vinegar miso first. Do not put too much on it. Thank you, Mas. Mm. How is it? Mm. It's completely different uh -huh. from like other fish you would imagine of sashimi. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The texture is so it's dense, uh, actually. Mm. and it's kind of like the flavor where the more you chew, the more flavor you get. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. So it's completely different. Is it like squid kind of harder? You can try. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna try the uh, soy sauce too. But oh, it's really hard. This is so good. It's really different from what you would imagine of regular sashimi with fish, uh -huh, fish okay. sashimi. Yeah. Mm, really good. No, oh, I love it both. Oh really? Mm. This would really good with, go go really good with sake. Oh it's, yeah, definitely. Kind of yeah. Yep. Oh, this is really good. You wanna try out some too? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Right, so it's your turn, Kazu. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna try like you did. Uh huh. Start with vinegar the miso. Mioga. Oh, the miyoga, okay. Mm. And maybe uh, just a little bit of miso. Mm -hmm. Miso. Itadakimasu. Do you get what I mean? Mm. Yeah. I totally get what I mean. Yeah. Mm. And so the texture, mm -hmm. like, um, I said it's a little bit dense, but it's mm -hmm. not completely dense. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Um, exactly. What should I say? It kind of like pushes back a little yep. bit. Yep. Mm. But it's really good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's really hard to explain this. Isn't yeah, it's it? <laughs> it really hard to explain it. So everyone watching you definitely have to come here mm -hmm, to mm -hmm, figure exactly. out what it actually tastes like. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have like a really strong taste, does it? Um, I don't. It has a yeah. unique taste, but it's not like really strong. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly, right, right. exactly. I think that's why like sumiso is like a really good match. Oh, I understand. Yeah, mm. that's right. That's right. Yeah, now I'm gonna try the soy sauce. Okay. Mm, 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 it's completely mm, different. Mm, yeah. 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 It's so good. Mm -hmm. yeah, I want more. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta share what's left. So. Yeah. Mm. But it's really good. Mm -hmm. It's a really awesome first experience of yeah, eel sashimi. Yeah, definitely. Hey, we already get to have eels. <laughs> I believe this would taste completely different from the eel bowls we're going to be eating later. Mm -hmm. yeah. But right, so this is the usaku, they were saying. So there's yeah. eels and there's cucumbers. They say there was vinegar, I think? Yeah, or, vinegar. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. So let's try this out. Mm. I am completely speechless. <laughs> really? Is that good? I want you to eat this look immediately. Okay, okay. This okay. is so good. <laughs> give it to me, give it to me. <laughs> this is probably the best deal I've ever eaten in my life. Oh, really? Seriously, seriously. I'm gonna try some of the cucumbers yeah. too. The miyoga on top. Mmm. Oh, very good combination. So the taste is basically vinegar? Yep, yep, exactly, exactly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The taste of the eel and the vinegar of the cucumber and the miyoga is a really good combination. Nice. Yeah. This is good. You need to eat it right away. Let me, let me try, let me yeah, try. Let him try, yeah. Okay, so now I'm gonna try that uzaku. Yes, right away. So, Shogo, you said that this is like yeah. super good. I wanna, share, I wanna share it with you, definitely. Okay. 
Okay, I'm gonna go with the eel first. Uh huh. <laughs> I know, it was my second bite too. I was like, one, two, and then I went. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. The first bite, you don't really get the flavor. Mm -hmm, and then mm -hmm. the second bite? Yep, yep, yep. A little bit sourness of the vinegar mm -hmm, and like mm -hmm. the sweetness of the kabayaki, you know. The sauce, sauce I believe. Yeah. yeah. It's like completely matches. Mm -hmm. It's like, the, like a perfect harmony. Exactly. You, know? you stop for a second yeah, yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, you know? like embrace the flavor. <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> okay, I get what you mean when you said that this was the best deal you've ever had. Yeah, exactly. ありがとうございます。いや、すごい。まず、そうですね、わさびが、えっと、白。そうですね、わさび醤油が、あの、お好みですけれども、あの、白焼きに合うので、ちょっと白焼きにわさびはちょっと、白を軽くあの、振って
And the rice is cooked so perfectly. Mm. Not just of course because it has this flavor of the sauce on it, but it's cooked perfectly too. Mm. Yeah. Really, really soft and fluffy, yeah, the yeah, rice. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Oh, this is so good. One thing though that I have in mind is I'm really sorry for Harumi that can't, can't they know, couldn't come with yeah, us. Yeah. I really wish I could. In the future, in the near yeah, future, yeah, I'll definitely, definitely when the two kids get older, yeah, and... I'll definitely bring her here to enjoy this. She loves eels too. Mm. So I'm gonna be trying out the hitsumabushi. Yes, your turn. Mm. <gasps> oh, oh, the smell is looks so great. Good, yes. Oh man. So it's cut into smaller pieces. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So um, the difference between hitsumabushi and unaju is that mm -hmm. hitsumabushi you actually put it into a smaller bowl mm -hmm. and you mm -hmm. mix it up, right? Yep, exactly, exactly. So I'm gonna use this, this little big spoon and get some... Oh. So it's a little bit easier to pick up because they're yeah. cut into small pieces. Exactly, exactly. So a little bit of eel. Same with the unaju, there's rice under it. So I'm gonna get the rice too. Good. Dig in there. Mm -hmm. So I think yeah. you should try the first one plain, just yeah, just, just uh, without exactly anything. exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay, so my first bite. Oh, uh, this is gonna be really the good. Eels <laughs> and the rice. <laughs> you know, Kazu, I know that you're not overreacting. <laughs> I know you're not overreacting because I totally agree with your reaction. <laughs> I think that's like the first voice mm -hmm. you're gonna say when yeah. you eat this. Oh. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's like, you know, like all stress just like relieved from your body. Oh yeah. my, this is so good. Mm -hmm. So like as Shogo said, sweet sauce mm -hmm. is like really gives the flavor to yep. the eels. Yep. And also because it's like really soaked into the rice, right? Mm -hmm. It's just like heaven here. <laughs> exactly. Like in one bowl. <laughs> exactly. Oh my god, this is so good. I'm gonna finish this whole bowl. Go ahead, go ahead. My second bite yep. with the seasoning. Mm -hmm. So the same as the first time, I'm gonna dig in, get the eels and the rice. Into the bowl. Into the smaller bowl. Like that. And maybe a little more rice. Good. That. And here, I have some seasoning here. All right. So this is tenkasu, I believe. Yep. And some leek, uh, nori, so uh, seaweed. Yep, dry and seaweed. Wasabi. I'm gonna try out some wasabi. Mm -hmm. So get that top a little bit, put it in. Mm -hmm. Maybe a little bit of seaweed and some leek. Perfect. Right, so that looks nice. Yes. And for the second bite, there's actually another seasoning called dashi. Soup stock, Soup right? Soup stock, right. So I'm gonna pour this in a little bit. Okay. Looks so good. Kind of like this. Yeah, you can see it, yep. Mm. Oh. So the dashi is gonna be really good with the sweet sauce. Mm -hmm. okay. Exactly. Okay, yeah, because the soup stock has a very deep flavor. Yeah, it does. Definitely. It's definitely gonna change it, yep. So I'm gonna go with you. Oh, that's, that's good. Of course, good. <laughs> of course, good. No oh. need to explain. Mm -hmm. mm, and that little hint of wasabi mm. just gives it an extra taste. You know, mm -hmm. not just the sweetness, but also yep. that little bit of spiciness. Yeah, that's right. That's right. This is like top of the world. Mm -hmm. Oh man, I wish I had other vocabulary to like, <laughs> yeah. express how good this is. Uh -huh. but, like this is something you just have to try. Right? Exactly, exactly. That's mm -hmm. right. Well, I don't know. Words are like too cheap, you know, to explain it. <laughs> no, I know. You just can't, you know, express this. Yeah. So good. Mm -hmm. So we've eaten everything completely. Alright. <laughs> So everyone, we just got out of the Negi on Yorosuke and this is a playground nearby. Yes, it was a great experience. It yeah. was.
Um, not only that the eel, as I said earlier, was the best eel I've ever tasted in my life, but you know, I was saying with Kazu that I love how the interior inside the restaurant was really simple. Mm, you know, yeah, the yeah, wooden yeah. wooden tables, the wooden walls. And I really love it how they're just like, you know, we're very serious about the meal. They're really fighting just with the food as a restaurant. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. Exactly. They're not like do making it into a, like a tourist trap. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just really love their spirit. Yeah. And the, the members there, the staff members there were really, really kind. And they were, it was a really awesome experience, definitely. One thing though that I really need to tell, explain to you is that they probably don't have an English menu. I yeah, I, yeah, I thought so too. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So um, we'll, I'm trying to write the information on the, the menu in the description box for you. So maybe you can take a look at this video and point at the description box what's written there. I'll write the English and the Japanese so you can use that to order if, you, if you're coming to this restaurant, okay? How was it for you, Kazu? Uh, yeah, you almost explained everything I was trying to say. <laughs> okay. It was really good, really uh -huh. delicious. I really want to come again. Definitely, yeah, yeah. with harumi too. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. I haven't eaten that many eel dishes, uh, me either, actually, yeah. but still, I can, I can definitely say I'm really confident that this is going to be the, one of the best, uh -huh. and this is not going to be topped very easily. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So everyone, if you're interested in this restaurant, please take a look at the description box, also for the menu, but also to the link to their website. And our goal is to achieve 1 million subscribers by January 2023, so your help is what we need. And we'll see you in our next Kyoto Hidden Gem series. Thank you so much guys for watching. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.